So this scrappy little thing is called the Rose of Jerusalem. It's also known as the Resurrection Plant. Um, there's also another name that refers to it as a fern. I can't pronounce it. Um, it's got lots of different names. And basically, it dries out like this in the, in the drought season when there's no um, water around. And then very quickly, when the rains come, it pings back to life. Um, so today we're going to be trying to ping it back to life um, and to do that we need to place it into a bowl of water. Now these can stay dormant like this for years and years and they're a very old type of plant. It's been around for many many years and um, because they've got such great survivability. So let's give this one a go today. We're going to drop it in the water and make sure it's wet all over but primarily we want to sit it so the roots are in the water we'll come back in an hour and see what's happened gone 24 hours after I first put this guy in he's looking so different I'm just going to turn him over for you still very really rooty at the bottom a few brown leaves still but mainly he's green he looks so different how he was now if you want to keep these guys green what you're supposed to do is make a little tray or a dish put some gravel in it and then some water not to come above the gravel but just let the gravel sit in the water then place him on top this way the roots don't um degrade through being too wet all the time um then after about three weeks of this sitting in a nice sunny window in the water and gravel um you can take him out and let him dry out now it's essential they have that drying out week that drying out period um, it's part of their life cycle because they don't come from a place like this where it's humid and it's wet and they're designed to dry out and then get wet again. So, you know, you don't have to dry them out for the amount of time they would dry out normally, but you do need to dry them out to keep them healthy. So once you've had them out about three weeks, let them dry down fully so they're that brown scraggly ball again. Keep them air dark, tight play keep them in an airtight dark place until you want to use them again or and you can resurrect it straight afterwards and put it back into some water but give it that week to dry out um, and there we go that is the rose of jericho fascinating plant come from times long long ago and really interesting to do with kids i highly recommend give, giving them a go i did find trouble in getting them in the UK I actually had to order this one in Ch from China to do the video you do see them in the UK but usually they are very expensive so you know for the three weeks it took to come in it was a lot cheaper to go via China but see what you can get have a go they're a huge amount of fun and great for kids 
great for schools as well, teaching them about survival and how plants manage in the environment.